Tonight squad, what are going on, boy? I'm talking about on, on. Back again, it is your boy Snapper Jones, man, back with another banger. If you guys have not already checked out my Haunted with an A, because y'all was on my ass last video, kept on saying hunted, hunted. I'm from Cleveland, bro, that's my accent. Y'all need to get up off me. I don't talk about y'all accent, don't talk about mine, don't dog. If y'all have not seen my last video, it was creepy, scary as hell. It's like a October video. It's a Halloween video. I went to a haunted stadium down here in Atlanta. It was crazy. I'm gonna link it right above me so y'all can go ahead and check it out if you haven't seen it. SneakerCon Atlanta is this weekend. Anybody gonna be there? Your boy gonna be there, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be there taking pics, vlogging. So if you wanna come through, say what's up, getting a vlog, please do. I'm gonna probably be posted up at the 8 and 9 table. I got some things working out with them. Promo code coming soon. Get your 8 and 9, man. Get your 8 and 9. Today's video, I'm going to the mall. It's a few things I need to pick up because your boy got all these kicks. And honestly, I don't really have enough clothes to rock none of these kicks, to be honest with y'all. That's a large reason why a lot of this stuff is still DS. For example, Homage to home, still DS. Not because I don't want to rock them, but just because I ain't really got nothing to rock them with. Uh, Raptor Forge, my favorite Jordan that released this whole entire year. Yeah, I know they have big GR and everybody got them, but still DS. Not because I don't want to rock them, because I don't have nothing to rock them. Now I can bring out seven or eight other shoes, but it's all defeating the purpose. Y'all get the point. I need to go get some more clothing. Your boy need to get fresh. And who else would I rather go to the mall with than my boy Bradley? Idea, Brad, we're gonna teleport to the mall. On dog. On dog. On dog. We're gonna teleport. And if you're new to my channel, you know your boy know how to teleport. <laughs> ah! Woo! Man, that saved a lot of money on gas, you know what I'm saying? My boy Bradley, what's going on? Yeah, Where you straight? What's going on, man? So, me and Bradley up here at Arbor Place Mall, and you know we're going on, boy. I need some clothes. I need clothes, and I need them hoes, you know what I'm saying? But look, bro, I'm looking for jeans. I'm gunning for the jeans. They got a Forever 21 in here. They got the deals. They got the denim. Now, warning, the only bad part about Forever 21 is the men's section is small as hell. So, you see this big old mall. Look at this big old store. This is all Forever 21. The bad news is only like one small corner is dedicated to the men. They still trying to get the men section going in Forever 21, but I'm telling y'all, you can find some stuff. That boy Kodak got some clothing, bro. Hold on, you know what I'm saying? I really won't smoke with Kodak because a lot of y'all think I stole my name from Kodak Black. I've been Sniper Jones since high school, you know what I'm saying? That was before Kodak was even out here. That's on dog, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got a lot about that. It's also getting very cold in Atlanta, man, so this jacket might not be a bad investment. It's getting cold as shit out here. So if you come into SneakerCon Atlanta, please bring your hoodies, your jackets, everything. It's getting freezing out here. This one is nice. It got like a wool inside with the whole denim outside. Only thing is I got like six denim jackets already or denim jackets. I don't really need too many more denim jackets. I'm denim out. I got like five of them. So I'm ringing out at the register and my man Brad over here snacking on some damn Chick-fil-A, bro. I ain't eat all day, you know what I'm saying? He ain't even asked me, was I hungry? Bro, it just happened, bro. I went, I come out the bathroom, bro. So I hop in line. The line was dead. Check, run that, uh, that spicy chicken, motherfucker. Bleep that out. All right, y'all, so look, my camera is dying, but this is my first chance getting to see these beef and broccoli nine boots. I don't really know how I feel about them. They kind of cool, I guess. Brad not really feeling them that much. They also got the Concords. They call these the Concord Nines, actually the name of them, so I don't know, bro. It's different. Nine boots, not really my thing. They also got the tens up here. The Tinker's tens. They got Tinker everything now. Sixes, tens, threes. It's crazy. I think they got some Tinker ones that's supposed to be dropping soon, too. All right, you guys, so we picking up more stuff as we speak. I'm gonna probably do a uh, unboxing or like a haul at the end of the video because my camera is dead. It's dying as we speak. I swapped it out. Brad is my witness. I swapped out my battery. Somehow this shit is still dead. I don't know, man, if it dies on me, that is the reason why I'm going to try to get as much footage as I possibly can. I'm sorry. All right, y'all, man, we are on the way to the crib. Like I said, the battery was dying. I couldn't vlog as much as I want to. Your boy got them bags, though. Yeah, feed me. But I'm headed to the crib. I'm going to do a, a whole little haul. I'm going to review and drop everything I got. And plus, something in, something had came in uh, through the mail today, so I got to unbox it for y'all as well. I'm going to do it all at the end of the video when I'm at the crib and I can charge my camera. I'm gone. 
All right, guys, we are back at the crib. Let me make sure that's right. Okay, we good. All right, y'all, we back at the crib, man. Long day, I know, I know. I don't know why I'm always forgetting to charge my damn batteries before I leave the crib, but I swear to y'all, I promise you, I know I changed the battery on this camera, bro. I literally, before me and Brad left, I switched out the battery on the camera, and that shit still died in like five seconds. But anyways, guys, like I said, man, it's getting cold out, so what I really tried to focus on at the mall was not too many uppers like shirts and hoodies and stuff like that because I have a lot of hoodies I got a lot of denim jackets what I don't have is jeans and like I say I'm not really too big on Brandon I know a lot of you guys out there 15 16 17 or even older like 23 24 I know a lot of people care about Brandon whether it's G-Star whether it's nudie whether it's whatever type of denim you like I've always been the one to just rock what's dope I don't care Really the branding, I just care about the quality of the denim and what type of looks I can give away with it. I feel like a lot of times we let the brand speak for itself. Like we don't really look at the clothing or, or actually see if it's dope. If it got a dope name attached to it, we just go with it. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. It's not like I don't like Supreme or I don't like Bape or I don't like any of those things. It's just number one, I can't afford it. And number two, man, if, if I do cop pieces, it's going to be pieces that I actually like. Not just pieces I'm rocking for the brand. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, man, let's get into the box because this box here is an unboxing that came here straight from X Gear 101. Follow them on IG. I will link them down below in the description. They have a lot of dope clothing. Anytime brand new sneakers drop, they always come out with some crazy fits to go right with it. Follow them on Instagram. Let them know your boy Snapper Joan Joan sent you. You feed me. And even though I got this box, y'all know I got to over edit. So, uh, yeah. Yee! Appreciate it, big dog. Let me see what they sent me, man. Like I said, they got a lot of good stuff over there. No cap. I ain't gonna hold you. Especially when new sneakers is dropping or even past releases because you gotta think, if a new sneaker drop, it probably still got some stuff from the past releases and... I don't know, man. It's just dope. I like I like what they got going on. On you feel me? First off, we got the hat. You know what I'm saying? Now listen, a lot of y'all don't know your boy Snapper Jones do rock the hats, but listen, usually it's during the time where I need a cut. Whenever I need a cut, my barber back in jail, or whenever I need a cut and I just can't get one, I will throw on the hat. You know what I'm saying? On dog. So shout out. This piece actually came from Boss Clothing. I will link them down below in the description as well. Boss Clothing is another clothing line that come out with some of the craziest, dopest designs. I know y'all probably seen this angry bear, this angry teddy bear looking thing on your Instagram or around. This is the actual line, bro. Check that out right there. Once again, I will drop them down below in the description for y'all to pick up some of this. This is the hat that comes with it. And they also sent me this dope ass sweatshirt. I told y'all it's getting cold out and I needed a sweatshirt like this, bro. I'm a medium, bro. So I hope this is a medium. Let me know. Let me know, boss. Let me know. Medium on dog. Yo, hold up. I'm low key excited, bro. This is actually, this will actually go with my favorite pair of sneakers. I think they knew that. Did y'all know that? I gotta, I gotta ask if y'all knew that. If y'all didn't know, my favorite pair of shoes, my favorite pair of Jordans is the black cement threes. This is my favorite pair of Jordans of all time. Look at that, bro. Come on, bro. That, look at that. Perfect match, man. Thank y'all so much, man. Y'all see the cement outline. It's actually like a good material. Like you can feel that all throughout the, the angry face. And it's, got, it's a perfect match, bro. The perfect match. Huge thanks to X Gear 101. Once again, a very, very huge thanks to Boss Clothes. And like I said, I will link both of those in the description down below. Next up, we got a bag from Forever 21. I went kind of like all over the place, bro. Forever 21, like I told you, I got a lot of good stuff. This here was nothing crazy. Just a pair of uh, black jeans, you know what I'm saying? You can never go wrong with the all black with the taper bottoms. I only do the slim fit. I can't rock with the baggy daddies. No disrespect to whoever's still rocking them soldier boy style. It's mandatory that you got a pair of all black jeans. I don't care who you are. It's mandatory. Next up, we got a bag from Rachel's, man. This is actually my homeboy's boutique that's in the mall. You know I had to stop through and show some love, man. I got two more pair of jeans. This one is like that nice biker type feel to it right here on the uppers and right there on the knee part. It's like a ashy gray kind of like faded and of course you got that taper bottom this here really goes with just about anything you want to do when you're not looking for that subtle all black you just want something to blend something real smooth the second pair of jeans is probably like the dopest ones to me it's like probably like the best quality of jeans i picked up today you see it got that nice denim and of course it got the knee design here pretty dope man it's like urban uh, urban look you know what i'm saying you can throw this on with a hoodie actually you know what I'm saying? i could throw this on with the boss clothing hoodie 
and throwing the black cement threes and it's a full fit that easy you know what i'm saying this kind of is neutral it goes with just about everything real smooth real easy to throw on you know what i'm saying Tr trust me holla at your boy snapper joan joan i got you on dog this next bag is called from M's Clothes, and I know a lot of y'all probably don't know about these stores, but these is the good ones, but y'all sleep, man, for real. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, forgot I bought these. Oh man. Any anyway, man, uh, this bag is uh basically stuff I got. Like I said, man, it's getting chilly out, so I had to just rock. Something neutral, something easy. This is nothing but sweats, regular joggers with the tight bottoms, all black colorway. You need these. These are necessities I'm getting. I'm getting necessities. Like, who don't you know with a nice pair of joggers? But unlike HM, I think the HM was like $24. These joints was only the good old 10. You know what I'm saying? The good old 10. I also got them in a charcoal gray colorway. Very neutral. You can rock these with just about anything. And joggers are always dope when you're doing on feet or just sneaker pictures, period, or whenever you want to be cozy. Jeans are dope, but you see a lot of people going away from the jeans and going more to like the jogger jeans or just like the joggers with the stripes on the side because they're way more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It's all about being comfortable while you're fresh. That's why people rock Yeezys and Ultra Boost because they're just comfortable and still fly at the same time. Last but not least, it's just the shirt I got, man. Um, don't I think it was it, it was a deal on this shirt. Uh, it was like five bucks or something like that. As y'all can see, it's just I don't know. It's, it's a brand. What, what's the brand of this? I, I I don't know. It says Water Parks ENT. All I know is I thought it'd be dope if I throw this on, probably throw like a denim jacket or maybe a hoodie over. Throw the court purples on the ones that I just got. I haven't got a chance to wear yet. I thought this would be a good fit, so I just got it for the core purpose, to be completely honest with you. But that is it for the mall pickup, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in with your boy, Snapper Joan Joan. Remember, SneakerCon ATL is this weekend. I will be in there full effect, man. And until next time, man, I will link up with y'all. I appreciate all of you guys for showing love unconditionally, hitting that comment button, and just talking to me. You know what I'm saying?